another way to rig shrimp so they don't come off a plane hook this week on kayak hack welcome back if you're new to the channel we cover kayak modifications spin and fly fishing so poke that subscribe button so you don't miss anything now let's get on here's with it. what you do you run the hook in from the back from the tail run it between the legs and then spin it so the hook comes out either the side or the bottom. Now if you were just to throw this, this shrimp would come right off. So what I'm going to do is I put a little loop in and then I put the loop, kind of it's a half hitch, put the loop in over the shrimp and then tighten it down. Now I've got the line looped where it's going to hold the shrimp on the hook. I'll show you this with a big piece of line right now. Let's go ahead and look at that with a simulated shrimp on this hook. All you do is you make a loop in the line and then you put it down over the shrimp and now the shrimp tail is tied on. So let me show you that again. You make the loop. Now you can see that the loop is open like this. What you need to do is turn the loop so the running end is below the end that's tied to the hook. Then when you cinch it down over the shrimp, you can see it's going to stay tight and go up. Let's do it the wrong way. So I cinch it, I don't move it, and it's going to come right up. So again, you just make the loop, you turn it over so the running end is below and then you're going to put that down over the tail of the shrimp and then tie it. Now the shrimp is attached firmly to the hook and it's less likely to come off when you cast or if someone pecks at it. You can see this technique works. The bottom part of my shrimp was eaten but the top part is still firmly on the hook. So I hope that demonstration with the thicker line made it a little bit easier to see what I'm doing here. I'm going to go ahead and throw this out and see if I can catch a fish. Got a better way to hold a shrimp on a plain hook as opposed to a jig head? You know, I, I have that miracle thread technique that I'll link up here that shows you how to keep them on jig heads. But if you have a better way to do it this way, throw it down in the comments below. We'd all appreciate it. Thanks.